Hi everyone, this is Bill with Gadsden Freedom Outdoors. Thank you for watching our channel. Today we're going to talk about the next amendment, Amendment 3. It's really interesting because it's not really used nowadays. Um, but basically it's, uh, it, it's interesting to say the least. But it says, No sh soldier shall in the time of peace be quartered in any house without the consent of the owner nor in a time of war, but in a manner to be described by law. So the Third Amendment uh, to the Constitution, um, it basically places restrictions on quartering soldiers in private homes without the owner consent, forbidding the practice in peacetime. The amendment is a response to the quartering acts passed by the Parliament of Great Britain during the buildup of the American Revolutionary War which had allowed the British Army to lodge their soldiers in public buildings. So what does it mean? The Third Amendment directly addresses an issue on a lot of people's minds in the 18th century England and America standing armies. The English strongly objected to being told to allow soldiers to stay in their homes. So English colonists relied on local militias rather than professional soldiers. But when the British Parliament passed the Courting Act 1765, those in the American colonies were required to provide housing for the British soldiers, even in times of peace. They also were expected to provide food, firewood, you know, even beer, alcohol. Anger over this requirement contributed to the tensions that were rising between the colonists and the British government. So the tensions came to a head with the Boston Massacre in 1770 where panicked British soldiers fired on a crowd of civilians killing five people. So when the United States declared independence from Britain in 1776, housing soldiers was among the grievances listed against the king. So the quote is, he has kept among us in times of peace standing armies without the consent of our legislators, quartering large bodies of armed troops among us. So to avoid the problem moving forward, the founders included the Third Amendment in the Bill of Rights. Congress proposed the amendment to the states on September 28, 1789, and by December 5, 1791, the necessary three-quarters of the states had ratified it. The Secretary of State, Thomas Jefferson, announced the adoption of the amendment on March 1, 1792. The Supreme Court has never decided a case based on the Third Amendment, making it the least litigated section of our Bill of Rights. But most importantly, legal scholars have suggested that the Third Amendment remains important because it addresses the relationship between individuals and the military. They argue that Third Amendment can, creates a individual right of domestic privacy that could also apply to government responses to terror attacks and national disasters. So this is a, a really interesting amendment and uh, I hope you uh, learned something from it. I know I did and we'll continue to bring you more uh, amendments. There's 27 of them so there's a lot more to do here to get to get you more information. But uh, please leave you know leave me a comment. Um, you know if you have any questions I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, Please like, subscribe, click the little notification bell for future videos. We appreciate you very much. We really appreciate you watching our videos, and we hope you learned something today. And don't forget, in the near future, we're going to be offering some memberships to bring other great videos and perks to uh, our viewers that are, are really supporting our channel. And like Dennis always says, and I always say, thank you. Without you, it is impossible. So enjoy your day and thanks for watching.